Welcome to the biggest Olympic show in the whole wide world where we bring to you 120 minutes uninterrupted sports news are coming in and out of Tokyo where the venue of the ongoing 2020 Olympic Games is currently happening. My name is Wale Ayanyaya. Welcome to Tokyo Olympic in 120 on the Leadership Podcast Studio. I will not be doing the show alone. I have with me uh, in the studio two sports uh, uh, jo- uh, sport, uh, uh, journalists right here uh, with me. Uh, Alpha, uh, welcome to the show once again today. Wale, once again, nice <laughs> to be here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, mm. Team Nigeria's performance so far. Well, we'll, when we start the show properly, we'll talk about that and see mm. you know, what we need to, how we we'll need, we'll need to assess them. But once again, nice to be here. Of course, uh, uh, Jonathan make his debut on the show talking about uh, the Tokyo in one twenty minutes. Jonathan, how are you doing? Fine. Nice to be here. Of course, uh, uh, Wale join us all the way from uh, London, UK uh, this evening. Wale, how are you doing? Hello everyone. I'm not I'm actually not doing very well because uh I didn't get the memo to wear blue today. Everyone there is wearing blue except for myself. Uh blue is the color, but um hopefully it's gonna be uh exciting today with you boys. Are uh, you look good? Every one of you, you look good today, by the way. Of course, uh, uh Dapo all the way uh from Lagos also uh join us uh, today. Dapo, how you doing? Is wet wet right here in Abuja. How is Lagos today? Yeah, Lagos is cool and dry. I'm okay. I'm very well. Well, don't worry. You are not the only one not putting on the uh, blue. I'm in a different <laughs> color. Don't worry. It's about the message we shall be sending out. Don't worry. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, Abuja is what we uh, uh, right here. And we uh, we are showing you that we are going to be bringing you uh, all the latest uh, sport news uh, happening in uh, the world of Tokyo at this point in time. Uh, we saw uh, in the games actually you not know, decided in the early hours of today. We saw our own Elizabeth uh, Ayana Cho was actually you not know, defeated uh, in uh, the Taekwondo event, and so sad uh, she has ended you know a rage uh, when it comes uh, to the Olympic Games. It's just so sad for Team Nigeria at this point in time. I think uh, a tsunami has actually you know, hit uh, a Team Nigeria right there in Tokyo. Uh, but uh, uh, looking at uh, the country's performance in uh, as regards to Taekwondo, uh, what do you actually make up of that uh, defeat uh, in the hands of uh, uh, the Turkish uh, uh, lady? Well, not just the you know Turkish lady. You know, we had three bruising defeat mm. today, you mm. know. Uh, Offyong is out, mm. Ayana Show mm. lost to, and of course, Adesha Khan also mm. lost. Mm. You know, like I was speaking to a friend early morning, mm. the, the, you know, earlier in the day today, mm. and he said, uh, there's a difference between Olympics mm. and Olympics. Wow. <laughs> so what he implies was that it's like Nigeria is participating in the Olympics, and not in the while Olympics. other countries are participating in the, in the Olympics. Wow. Because I mean, come on, these early outstars of mm. our, you know, team Nigeria mm. is very, very disappointing. You mm. know, yesterday before we left the show, I was expecting, mm. and I told you clearly, mm. I said, when we come back here for this show, mm. I said we're well, we're going to celebrate some victories here. Mm. Of course, it but seems you didn't fast and pray for them. I did, <laughs> I did actually, but mm. it looked like they didn't do their job. Mm. I did. You know, mm. they say faith without works is dead. Yes, I first said and prayed for mm. them, mm. but they didn't do their job. Mm. You know, so, but this is really sad. Mm. You know, so, especially we we're looking forward to, you know, at least uh, Ayana Cho at least doing something. Yes, I didn't expect her to mm. go on to win a medal, mm. but I expect her to at least progress to a certain stage in the competition. Mm. But she lost. Mm. You know why I wouldn't put so much blame on her? I mean, she's a young girl. Mm. This is her first Olympics. And and i mean after the loss you she she clearly in her statement after it she she wept bitterly she wasn't happy about it you know especially considering the preparation that you know chukumeji had put her through she you know the campaign situation was almost perfect mm. so we expected that at least she was really going to go far but sadly enough it, that didn't happen so but we just have to live with it and keep hoping 
that the other games we still have to participate in that when we come back here tomorrow if we won't be starting on this sad note but nevertheless i still have hope that you know team nigeria will still you know redeem their image going going along uh, you know as, as the olympics still progresses hmm. uh jonathan what do you make of, of this uh uh, defeat uh, in the hands of the, the two times you know what champion yeah, i think it's very disappointing mm. honestly it's a sad day for nigerian sports wow, generally so sad. it's a sad day for nigerian sports mm. generally because i don't expect us let us not have a repeat of the last olympics mm. hopefully the olympics is just a bronze medal mm -hmm. in football just in and football. that's only in football and, mm. and we don't have and football this time around both male and female mm. so uh, our star was very disappointing. Of course, uh, that is uh, Elizabeth on your screen. And uh, well, uh, looking at uh, Elizabeth, uh, she's uh, she's she's a young lad, no doubt about it. She's a 300 level student of uh, a statistic uh, in the Federal uh, University of Technology, or very uh, At this point in time, uh, for me, I would say she absolutely will try her best. Uh, but looking at her defeat uh, in the hands of uh, the two times at uh, world champions, uh, what do you make of that? And uh, moving forward. Uh, how do you see uh, the game of uh, Taekwondo in Nigeria improving? Uh, Wally, I think you've, you've said it all. Uh, uh, Elizabeth fought against a two-time world champion. Uh, so what, what would we have expected from her to do? Uh, she, uh, to, for, for me personally, I think she did what all she could. Uh, that, that game was uh, what lost 12-7. Okay, for you as, as a greenhorn like that, because I'll call her a greenhorn, because uh, what has she won, really? Um, so um, she she fought against a two-time world champion who was obviously rated number four in that category for this Olympics, and she lost twelve to seven. <laughs> so um, she 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 did all she could. Um, I, I um, before the turn before the event itself, uh, I, I think I shared that with you here. I spoke to Chika Chukumirije, who was obviously the the technical director and the coach to uh, Elizabeth, and um, he, he was optimistic to be honest with you. Uh, but I, he, he at, at the same time said, you know what, the pressure is not on my girl, okay? She's just there to do what she can. And right after the, the loss, um, I to, to also spoke to Chica. And Chica said, listen, the experience this girl has gained here, she's going to surprise a lot of people in Paris, okay? So uh, I think on the whole, uh, we, we just need to be, uh, to be calm, you know? Uh, most of our um, competitors representing Nigeria I mean, this Olympics just to improve, and all we need to do is just now to go back. I did say this at the front when we started this um, uh, uh, broadcast, uh, the first maiden edition. I said, "Listen, we don't have to blame these competitors, these Nigerian sportsmen and women that have gone there. Um, what were the preparations like? You know, uh, for somebody to fight against against the best, two, two times the best. I mean." Uh, we, we don't really need to nail her on the cross for now, all right? Let's just, just let her come back home, learn from what she's been through. She she fought the best, uh, one of the best, you know. Uh, let's look forward to what she needs to deliver. So um, my, my advice to her is plainly simple. You know, you've got there, you've gone there, you've learned your lessons, come mm -hmm. back home, work on those floors, listen more to your coaches, go mm -hmm. to more competitions, international competitions, let these girls, let these boys go outside. Let them go and, and, and compete against the best. That way you learn not to compete against people on your level. When you compete with people on your level, you can't learn. But when you compete against people that know more than you do, you, you lose against them. You learn from them. You learn valuable lessons. Then next time you go there, whatever you've learned from losing, you, you now implement it. So um, I think it's, it's, it's a lesson for us all. Um, some of us were really not too optimistic, uh, but we've, we've gone there. Uh, what has happened has happened, and we just move on. Of course, uh, we just have to move on. Elizabeth, uh, I just have to move on. Uh, but I have a, a statement uh, released by Elizabeth after a defeat uh, in the Tokyo Olympic Games. According to her, I lost to Toki 7-12. Uh, Toki then lost in golden point to US after a 1-1 one drop. -one this means I am totally out of fighting for podium place at the Tokyo Olympics. I have cried. I still feel hot because I want to spring a good surprise, despite being a four year early to my original uh, Paris 2020 Olympics. It has been a quiet journey, 
truly a long and challenging journey with the roller coasters of emotions. It will be difficult for a few weeks and months ahead of me because I will keep replaying today in my head and trying to replay all I could have done. But it is okay. But the lesson will help me will help my development. I thank you for your constant uh, constant love, encouragement, and support. You are the best. Together we rise even higher. Hashtag Olympian, hashtag dream, hashtag team Nigeria, hashtag Alizi. Uh, looking at uh, Elizabeth's uh, comment after uh, defeat in the ongoing Tokyo Olympic Games, uh, what would be your reaction on that and what would be your advice for her You know, uh, going forward? Well, I I'm very happy with, uh, with her state of mind. Her state of mind you know, tells a lot about what she can actually do in, in future. And I'm confident that definitely, come the right time, she will definitely uh, perform. I, I, I'm not happy with the way uh, a lot of our people uh, are actually talking about being sad. You know, sadness about what? We have an Olympian, a first-time Olympian, fighting a, uh, against a two-time world champion. What do you expect? What do you expect? You expect her to garner enough experience to continue to forge ahead in the, in, in, in the, in, uh, in the sport. Which she has actually done, even uh, uh, our coach, Chika Chukumeri, said the same thing happened to him in 2004 at, at the Athens Olympics. Was he went there for the very first time? He tried his best, and it was it was not good enough. But he was able to prepare well ahead for the next Olympics at the Beijing 2008, and there, right there, he won he won a bronze medal. He won a bronze medal. So he said, "Leave this girl is in the right, she's uh, you know in the right hands." And she will, she will definitely perform at the, uh, in France in, in, in 2024. I believe this so much, but I don't want uh, all these are kind of uh, Nigerian Nigerian kind of feelings, Nigerian kind of handling you know matters when it comes to sports. Once you get to once you get into you know a mat or the field or the table, the all all they just want you to do, not minding your preparation, not minding you know uh, the, 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 your status. In that sport, they just want you to win. You know, what well, look at the, the what about the preparation? What about the experience garnered? A lot of people are saying, ah, we are disappointed. You are not supposed to be disappointed. This is Elizabeth and Ayana Chow just went to the Olympics first time. She is the second woman in the history of Nigeria as a country going to the Olympics. And she has a very capable coach that actually went through the same kind of process. And she's there. Funding is there because she's one of those athletes that have been uh, adopted by a corporate body. Com uh, co training and comp uh, competition in, in international events will continue. So let's just give it to her, give it to her coach, and we'll, let's continue to ensure she gets all the desired uh, support to develop. And she's going to develop most definitely. She's just 21 years old, and she mm -hmm. fought against a two-time you know, uh, world champion. It's not... It's not something you 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 just you know gloss aside and you think you you keep moving like that. Experience is very very important. A number of countries there, right there in Tokyo now, they brought athletes that will compete at the 2024 uh, Olympics. Some of them just for to to watch the fight, to watch the games, observe and have uh, uh, your, your your frame of mind on what we are going to what we are expected to do. In the next three years, and that is what I want Nigerians to 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 actually give to Elizabeth Ayana. She has tried. She has tried. Is it easy to qualify for the Olympics? A lot of people thought, oh, you just a stroll in the park. Qualifying for the Olympics takes is a big deal. You are there in the Olympics now, and you're competing. Do your best. If you agree on, she is agree on when when it comes to the Olympics. She's just twenty one. Yeah, the experience will be there. We have, she has three more years to develop, three more years to put herself in, in the character of, of, of a champion. Already she's a champion in Africa. She will extend it to the, to the, to, to the world level. So the support should, continue, should be continual. People should not be disappointed. Disappointed about what? What do you want? You want her just coming to the world, for, to, to the Olympics first time to, to defeat a, a two-time world champion? Do they know what, what, what it means to be a world champion? We are not talking about African champion. We are not talking about uh, American champion or European champion. We are talking about the world champion. 
two times world champion. She has garnered enough experience, and I'm sure she will continue to use it in future performances. Of course, uh, she will continue uh, to use it uh, in uh, future performances. Uh, but I just want to quickly read what uh, uh, Chika Chukumerije, the coach of uh, Elizabeth, said after uh, the match. He, sa uh, he said she, she has been crying. That shows she badly needed a victory. In all, her target is now focused on Paris. Uh, between now and three years, she will mature. Uh, she has gotten Olympic experience, according to what he has said. Uh, same thing happened to me. I fell into depression after my first uh, loss, uh, but luckily she had people guiding her. It's a big stage, and she has all it takes uh, now to put uh, this defeat behind her and show what she uh, actually has. Uh, Alpha, looking uh, uh, at the comments from Chukumeriji at this point in time, uh, what will you actually know tell Elizabeth? Nice one coming from from a coach. I mean, I shouldn't have expected less, you know, coming from her coach. He just tried to, you know, reel out his own experience too in his first trial at, at, at the Olympics. You know, he said the first time he participated, too, he fell short, went into depression. But of course, we all remember that he bounced back and came back to, you know, clinch a bronze medal. Uh, you know, so I, I I don't expect anything less from Elizabeth. She will bounce back, like 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 Dako has, you know, clearly clearly said. She's a young girl coming up. This is our first Olympic. It's not easy facing a three-time world champion. Like you said, it's not a European or an American champion. A three-time world, world champion, champion, you know. So I expect that she will take the lessons. You know, she's learned from this. I mean, there are so many lessons to be learned from this. This is our first trial. You know, even before she even gets to France, twenty twenty-four. She'll still participate in the African in the African Games, mm -hmm. and of course, a lot of other trials going forward. So, these things will serve, you know, as an experience for her moving forward. So, I, I think it's, it's a good thing coming from her coach. You know, he has tried to console her, motivate her, and I believe that you know she has a lot of years ahead of her to to do better. And I, and I, I believe in her that she 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 can only get better. This guy can only be the limit. So. Nice, nice one coming from the coach. Of course, at this point in time, she's just uh, 22 years old. And when uh, we approach uh, uh, the Paris Games in 2024, she'll be about uh, 25 years uh, there, about uh, still and, very young. And that is have, very, yeah, very, very young age. She still yeah. have a whole lot of Olympics ahead of her. If she can actually, you know, uh, do the needful mm -hmm. and ensure that she gets to improve uh, in that uh, particular one. Uh, from uh, Taekwondo, we head straight uh, to bat meeting of course uh our team nigeria something is actually no wrong with the team at this point in time because uh, uh the first game of uh dokas at in the uh, women's single of the bat meeting event uh, uh she was actually you know, defeated uh 2-0 over our score uh in the first uh, set that uh, she actually lost at uh, 10 to 21 and uh, the second set that uh, she actually you know just uh scored just two points uh, losing uh, two to twenty-one against a highly Spanish attacking, you know, a girl right there in Tokyo. But uh, she still has a chance. She still also has a chance to actually you know, redeem herself in the next uh, game uh, to, uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but uh, while you're looking at her performance, uh, do you think uh, she still, you know, has what it takes, you know, to come back into uh, that particular group? Looking at her first uh, a defeat uh, in the hands of uh, the Spina. Um, thing is, um, I think uh, I don't want to be sounding like too repetitive uh, with regards to uh, 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 athletes uh, in, in the in the Olympics. Um, I, I I tend to want to believe that um, if we actually prepared well for this Olympics, we could have done more than we are doing at the moment. I mean. Leave the fact that the younger ones that are obviously very they're green ones are the least experienced, uh, uh, falling by the wayside, no fault of theirs at all. Okay, so thing is, if we are actually prepared, I know the COVID actually really messed a lot of things up, you know, and uh, but then other countries actually had the preparations to they, they 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 went on they went in training camps far earlier than probably we. Um, uh, we went 
and like I said earlier in in one of his shows here, I said preparing for Olympics it, it doesn't take months; it takes years to prepare for an Olympic. Um, I was I'm sorry, I just want to give you a story. Uh, today I was I decided to take a walk down uh, somewhere uh, along the River Thames in London, and I saw a guy. I saw a guy and a coach. I saw this guy in the river rowing the canoe in the river by River Thames whilst I was going. Then I saw a man on the bike and on, on the back of the man's t-shirt was the word coach, you know. So, and I went towards them. I said, why are you guys doing this? Why the Olympics is on, you should be at home watching the Olympics. What are you doing? And the simple answer they gave me was that we are preparing for Paris 2024. This was today, about a few hours ago. I was just taking a walk down the canal and I saw them and I, I got the guy's name and I said, I'm gonna look forward. I'm gonna look forward to seeing you in the Olympics. You can imagine that Olympics is going on. They're already preparing for 2024. And the guy was just there. This is how you roll. This is what you do. This is how you use your strokes. You know, so this this is what we've been talking about. So if you, if we had prepared earlier, maybe we would have seen uh, something better. But the fact that um, uh, closer to uh, uh, an Olympic year, or probably a few months down, the, like a couple of months before that time, then you not chop people in to go and 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 play against obviously superior opponents. What would you, what would we expect from them? She's playing. She's played to uh, against a Spanish opponent. Obviously, you know Spain. Uh, they are obviously really very prepared for this tournament. They are, they, they are good. I'm not in, in, in Tokyo to actually ascertain how far this Spanish forward she, she, she played against was. But you see all, all, all over uh, Adeshokan, you could see the, 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 the heart that, listen, I lost, I let my country down. I, 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 I wouldn't say they did. You know, they, they, they've gone out there to do what they can do. You know, so um, I think uh, she still got a chance. Um, I don't know how that will go, but she gave her best in this uh, in, in this uh, in the first match against our opponent. I just hope, um, like we said about Elizabeth, go there, learn, you know, make your mistakes, come back home, and let's start preparing as soon as they're back home. We're not saying you should you should start training from day one till the Olympics, but prepare, put things on the put a blueprint on the ground, and and, and training schedules. Go outside, play against top opponents, lose to them, learn from them, and then with that that way, then you'll be able to improve on yourself. If we don't go tournaments abroad, we're in Africa rubbing shoulders, or probably in Nigeria rubbing shoulders with our mates. Then how can we improve? You know, so we need to do that. So um, that's that's about the only thing I can say about 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 her at the moment. Mm. Uh, Dapo, looking at tomorrow. Ade Shokan will be actually you know, be facing the South Korean Annie Sung, uh, Si Young. She, she will be actually you know, battling uh, the South Korean uh, tomorrow. Uh, what will be your message for her and uh, the coach who will be leading her against uh, uh, the Korean? I think I think the coach should work on her on her psyche. I worked a game against the, the the Spaniard. She was not she was not you know good enough. She was her movement was so. Those who like Kadasika, she was not, you know, her uh, uh, presence of mind was not there. She was losing, you know, valuable points that she should have actually picked. Even some shots, she left some shots, hoping that the shot, the shot, the shot cock was going to go out. But most of, most times, the shot cock landed inside the, the, the single court, which is point for the Spaniard. So I was so surprised that at, at that stage, at a level, an African champion. Somebody who has actually played the number of times at the, at the World Championship and she, she has good performances. You know, something I think something is happening. Something is happening, is happening to her and some other, you know, athletes that nobody is actually telling us. I, I spoke with the with the Federation president, Francis Obi, and I was asking him, what 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 is wrong? He couldn't tell me anything, you know, much, but you know, but everything, all the pointer to the explanation he gave was all about was all about funding and preparation for for Tokyo 20, 2020. That the preparation was not good enough. So, so like Adasika, sometimes 
you know, we see the evidence in our movement, and that was not, you know, the doctors we know. Something is definitely happening. And I said, what, 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 what has been the issue with, with funding? He said, and again, the, the, the opposition has uh, 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 an Asian blood in her, has an Asian blood in her, and he, he said that we still have problems playing, you know, against the Asians. We still have problems. There are still, you know, the there are still the the continent that can defeat Nigeria, even African teams, you know, with uh, just you getting only two only only two points. And he said the next time from now, immediately after the Olympics, they will start working on that, working on that, ensuring that they, they move some of the elite athletes to Asian countries where they can play. Or yeah, in, in the US, Nigeria, where their training will be, will be predominantly you know, uh, against, you know, players you know, of the US who have, you know, uh, Asian, who are from the Asian and it's a area. The next time, yeah. from now, immediately after the Olympics, they will start working on that, working on that, yeah. ensuring that they, they move Asian countries where they can play or in, in the US. Yes. Of course. Yeah, uh, I'm hearing I'll myself, but that's right. Ensuring that uh, we take these athletes to the Asian country uh, so that yeah. uh, they can be able to learn from the Asian country so that they can be able to learn from the Asian country. But, 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 you know, but at this point, uh, the sports uh, editor of uh, the leadership newspaper joins us all the way from Tokyo, Mr. Sally Fuchsman. How is Tokyo today? Mr. Sally Fuchsman. How is Tokyo today? Of course, uh, we are finding it difficult uh, to you know connect to Salifu at this point in time. But uh, in the men's that double event, uh, Godwin and uh, uh, his counterpart are talking about um, uh, at this point in time. But uh, in the men's that double event. Yeah, I think they should work hard. They have over 200 million Nigerians behind them. So just go for victory. Of course, uh, they need to actually you no know, go for victory at this point in time because uh, if they get to you no know, lose the last match against uh, the Russian Olympic Committee, then uh, they will be back home uh, in Nigeria within the uh, 48 hours. But uh, Alpha, looking at this team, uh, do you see them beating Russia Olympic uh, Committee? You know, for Team Nigeria especially. This Olympics has been, I must say, very, very unpredictable. You know, I can say a section of the Nigerian sporting fans had some really high hopes on the way to the Olympics. But for some of us, you know, we had hopes, but not uh, too high. So the badminton team lost in their first game, lost the second game. And so now they are, comp you know, condemned to win against the Russian Olympic Committee, which, you know, not being pessimistic, but I really don't see that happen. You know, so the, the way it looks right now for me, I, it's, it's looking more like it's the end of the road for, you know, the Nigerian badminton team because they just have to win this next game, you know, if they should have a chance of, you know, really qualifying for the next round to even have anything. You know some sort of pride remaining you know, if they, you know in, in going forward in the olympic game but you know going forward i yes. really don't see that happening and i really can't say what has been going wrong with team nigeria so far but we'll leave that for another day i mean a time will come when we'll do a post-mortem mm. of their participation in these olympic games but you know so far so good so far i mean it's not really looking good for team nigeria i mean Table tennis, the singles event. Of course, we are going to come to table you know, tennis. So, you course. know, uh, so uh, you know, but the, the the way the Nigerians have been falling mm. by the wayside, it looks like this was a hurriedly put team. Mm. You know, like yes. they just assembled them together and mm. 
let's go for the Olympics mm. because we need to participate. Let's mm. go. But it's really not working out for me. And I must say, in spite of the optimism mm. that Dako and Wale mm. are trying to show, yeah, maybe we've been trying to be patriotic, but yeah. seriously speaking, I am not happy with, with the way things are going with Team Nigeria, honestly. Of course. And uh, I really don't see them beating uh, the, the ROC in, in, their next, in their next game. Of course, Alpha is not really comfortable with the performance of Team Nigeria and so far. But uh, Salifu, if you are here with us, uh, how is Tokyo are today and how has been the pulse of uh, uh, the team generally looking at uh, the performance and, and looking also at the officials uh, uh, right there in Tokyo? Can you hear me? Hello, Salifu. Can you? Yes, we can hear you now. Hello? Yes, we can Hello? hear you. We can hear you. Hello? We can hear you, Salifu. Go on, Salifu. Yes. We can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, everyone in the studio. It's nice to look up, to hook up to you. Just... Uh, Okay, just like you rightly said, here in Tokyo. Of course, at this point in time, we are you no know, finding it difficult uh, to connect uh, with uh, our sports editor right there in Tokyo. But as we get back to him, surely uh, we are going to bring him on uh, the show. But uh, looking at uh, another team in uh, Nigeria, we, uh, who actually you know uh, participated in the table tennis uh, event, uh, uh, she actually you know. Uh, to cruise that to victory in her first run, but uh, uh, so sad that uh, she couldn't actually know who her own uh, for her to qualify to the uh, third round. Talking about Adam of Young, uh, she was actually you know, defeated by a uh, Asian a US uh, player because I know uh, Lee, uh, Lee Zan is is, a, is an Asian name, but she's actually you know, representing uh, the, USA. The, the USA in the Olympics. But at this point in time, uh, looking at her performance, she's 32 years old, and this is uh, like her fourth Olympic. Uh, should we just actually you know, call it a day for her? Uh, she should go and retire. Absolutely. You know, when we spoke here yesterday, Jacko was very sounding very optimistic. Mm. He was so sure that Adam was going to beat mm. the American counterpart. Mm. And like I said yesterday, I said, yeah, she might be an American, but, you know, she still comes from, you know, the Asian, Asian ethnic stock, you know, mm. exactly. So I really didn't see Adam mm. going past her, you know, and unfortunately, she has crashed out also. Mm. So like I said earlier, I really don't know what is really happening. Mm. Is it that our preparations mm. were not on point? Or is it that we are still we the athletes we took to the Tokyo Olympics mm. are really not up to it? Mm. So it has to be one of the two. Either way, we are not properly prepared for these Olympics. Mm. Maybe because of the COVID incidents and all that, mm. we felt okay, maybe this Olympics might hold, it might not hold. But mm. the performance performances so far from Team Nigeria mm. are very, very disappointing, irrespective of what anybody else might want to say. I mean, Adam mm. has crashed out of the singles event. Well, she might still have a chance, you mm. know, to play in doubles event, hopefully, but uh, what, going what forward. Wrong with our sports? Of course, uh, looking at her performance in mm. the first game, she actually, you know, uh, she won the first yeah, she set. she won the first set. She won the first set, uh, 15 to 13. Uh, she, she lost the second set, uh, 2 mm. to 11. The same scoreline for the uh, third set. Uh, in the fourth set, uh, she actually improved. Uh, she went uh, to the 8, uh, 11 lost uh, before, you know, uh, the U.S. Uh, player, you know, getting to, you know, to... Uh, to defeat her in the final set, uh, eleven uh, to six. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, J J Jonathan, looking at uh, uh, the you know the score line in all the five sets, what do you think went wrong after uh, the first set, having you know uh, getting to win that first set? I think she lost concentration after the first set. Mm. That's just the truth. She lost concentration. Mm. But I think at thirty-two, she mm. still has one more Olympics. To go. She'll be thirty-six mm. in Paris. I think mm. she can still qualify for the next Olympics. Mm. Of course, uh, uh, looking at uh, the performance of F uh, Adam F. Young, uh, Dapo, uh, what will you make of a video? Yesterday, you were sounding so confident that, that she can actually you know, uh, pull out a victory in that particular match.
to compare to our opponent, though our opponent was, uh, you know, she has an Asian extraction, but that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, she should not have, she shouldn't have won the game. Uh, I don't know what actually happened. Is a game, you know, going there, I want to win, you want to win. Everybody employed their own strategy. But what I'm not too happy about is, you know, is, is uh, people sounding, giving a sign of sorrow. I'm, I'm not too comfortable about it because I've been in the sports circle for some time now, and I know that the, the character is not is not proper for, especially for athletes, you know, representing your country. I've been in the midst. Uh, okay, Wale, Wale is there. I've been in the midst of uh, British, you know, journalists before. Those who do analysis like this during, you know, the uh, World Cup in, in, in 2012, and when you compete, and possibly. Their own athletes maybe fell fell short. What they will be doing about is they, they will be doing an extra on a performance, on the performance, on the level of improvement noticed in our play, on what should be improved on, or possibly the, the score the scores also. They will be working on it and they will be doing a promotion to give encouragement to the athletes. But Nigerians are being who we are in the slightest the slightest uh, default. We start criticizing. It is not good for sport. It is not easy. This is the Olympics. We are not playing the African Games. We are not playing. Uh, we are not playing in uh, in the uh, National Sports Festival. This is the Olympics, where the best of the best across all continents, you know, bring the best of the of the of the athletes to, to compete. So when you play and in sport, you should know you should know that you win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Rather, right? I, I beg your pardon. You know. So if in a game. Your athletes didn't win a particular game. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't keep criticizing. It demoralizes these athletes. They have a long way to go. Uh, Ophion Edem is, is a very good player. She's a very good player. Whatever happened in that game, you know, I don't know. But it is sport. It is competition. It's not novelty. So if you have athletes from your from your country competing, no matter what, they win. You celebrate with them. They lose. You can say what you want to say, but ensure. That it is slightly, you know, uh, encouraging. It, is, it should not be total condemnation. I'm always against that. In the last 30 years, when you compete, you plan. If you are playing, the British will tell you if they run a race, they will they run the race, and the athlete loses. They will be looking at the performance of the athletes. They will be look, look, looking at the compar a, a comparative uh, analysis of the timing of the scores, and they will be linking it with what happens in, in their in. In, in, in their own country or in, in Great Britain as a whole. So I want us to imbibe, though it is not by force, a lot of people are like that. There's nothing you can do to change it. There's nothing you can do. But what we have to keep doing is to keep encouraging our athletes. Keep encouraging. It's not novelty. Yes. Dapo, Dapo, sorry, can I just cut in? Uh, sorry, boys, I just want to, to ask Dapo this question. I know we've, we've, yes. we've, we've been colleagues for long and we've been co covering football um, sports for a yeah. long time. But the issue is now, uh, where where do we... Ophion has been to uh, London Olympics. She won, yeah. I think she, she, she crashed out probably in the first round. Not in the first round. Uh, or no, no. She, she got to so. the third round, yeah, third round. Oh, okay. And then the yeah. uh, um, uh, Rio Olympics, she got to, the, yeah. where she crashed out in the first round. She's mm. been to uh, uh, Dusseldorf in Germany for World Championship, Kuala Lumpur, yeah. she's in China, mm. and she's never really made it past the first round. Where, why are we not looking, you talked about looking at performances and then yeah. working on performances and mm. using those performances like it is obtained everywhere in the world anyway, yeah. then to improve people. Why yes. would you say this is a fault of um, probably the coaches or administrators not actually looking at data because that data actually helps improve whatever you do yeah. when mm -hmm. you gather all these data and you look at all these matches from all the previous olympics all the previous championships he's been to why don't we collate this data collate these matches and look at it and use it as as, as a training tool to not only train the, the players but also train the coaches would you think we are we, we are doing what we can do in this in this instance no, technically we are not we are not doing we are not doing the, the best. Technically, the coaches are not doing their best. The players are just there, you know, a few years she's based in Europe, you know, she plays regularly in the, in the European Championship, you know. But just like you said, you must we must be able our uh, the technical 
department should be able to keep data, keep records. Look at the players, have their, have their video of games played against you know different countries. Watch matches of con different countries, and you know how to you know how to how to tackle them. These all these have actually been absent in the technical department of the, the of Team Nigeria, even in, in in table tennis. You know sometimes when you look at the caliber, when you look at the caliber of of, of coaches in the team, you keep you you you, you keep wondering how this man how, how how this man out became the chief coach of team of, of the table tennis team you know but all these players have they've been banking they've been banking on their prowess playing in europe and the co their coaches in europe will not come with them to to for team nigeria assignments so all these ones we have this shortfall they are there but at the same time the players themselves have they all also they also have targets they also have dreams you know Often either will not say, okay, I don't want to win my next game. I don't want to get to the medals. She will not. But the game comes as it comes. But at the same time, it's not that I'm, I'm preaching. It's not that I'm so happy that we are not winning. We should be winning. When we are winning, everybody is happy. Everybody is happy. And that is the essence of essence of sports. But we must, we must also look at development and also the level of preparation. The level of preparation. I just spoke about elite athletes now in other developed countries. I, I was speaking with one of the federation presidents yesterday, and I said, "Okay, it's not. We are looking for funds, so for training, giving athletes training grants. What about what they they will use in feeding themselves? There has been a, a shortfall in that area. We look, for, we get training camps here and there, but these athletes are still, you know, battling to feed themselves. So it is it is a big issue. Somebody was say, asking me earlier today that." Where did you get it wrong? I said, we got it wrong a long time ago. And if you look at it from 1960 up till now, 1960 Nigeria got independence up till now, you'll find out in the sports ministry, the sports ministry has always been, the position of the sports minister has always been for politicians who don't have anything to offer and they will take charge of everything. Even this present one, it is that they're not, all not doing well. Unique technicians, to, 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 to do technical people who are actually being in sport to do and even at the same time when we brought the person that has been in sport I'm talking about uh, a former minister yeah. standing down sir. it was it was it was a monumental failure so what do we do this is Nigeria we must keep pushing we must keep encouraging our athletes we cannot keep you know castigating them casting as passions where do you want to go from there we continue to what do we do we just at the end of the day when things are not does not go well we pick a particular country and we continue to support them. Of course, uh, we need uh, to actually encourage uh, all our athletes at this point in time. But uh, back here in Nigeria, Nigerians are actually looking forward for them to actually win medals, not just uh, to go and compete uh, in Nigerians the Olympics not and not uh, you know come back without a medal. You have you have something to say about that? No, just to you know buttress it from at mm. least he he said some some key things. You mm. know the truth is. We can always, for every Olympics we go, mm. after our, our athletes don't get to a certain stage, we say we, mm. we are criticizing. Mm. Countries go to the Olympics, mm. not to, apart from participation, mm. we go there to win medals. Exactly. But we can't go there in every Olympic, we don't win medals, we mm. say, okay, next Olympics. Yeah, we go there, we don't win medals, mm. and we keep saying we'll prepare for the next Olympics. Mm. So when are we going to get uh, it right? Uh, hello. Of course, uh, Salif will join us on the way from Tokyo. Sorry to cut you short. Uh, Salif will join us on the way from Tokyo. Uh, Salifu, how are you doing and how is Tokyo today? Hello? Yes, we can, can hear you. Go on. Just continue talking, Salifu. Of course, uh, at, at, at this point in time, we are still Hello? Uh, getting it. <laughs> Hello, Salifu, can, can you hear me? Of course, at this point in time, Salifu cannot uh, hear us. But, uh, of course, uh, Team Nigeria's captain talking about uh, Harun Akondri. He will be actually you know, playing uh, his first match uh, in the round of uh, three uh, uh, in, right there in Tokyo uh, tomorrow. And he expected you know, to face another U.S. Uh, player uh, talking about uh, Gustavo uh, Tazbol. He will be actually you know, playing uh, uh, him uh, tomorrow in the early hours of tomorrow. Uh, uh, Yomi, uh, what will be your message uh, for... 
I would accord you because we know he is like the most uh the the, the, the best athlete when it comes to table tennis in Africa and uh and Nigeria would actually you know be looking uh forward uh, to ensure that he gets you know uh to take a Nigerian flag away uh, from the third round uh, to the fourth round. Um, well, Arno uh, is is uh, more than a t table tennis player for us now. He's also the team captain. So uh, I, I think uh, there, there will be uh, the mantle of leadership uh, a force on him to deliver tomorrow. Um, I think the good thing is uh, he's going to play against an opponent who is um, uh, experienced. But I think Arno is actually vastly more experienced than this this guy, this uh, American. The issue now is um, what is his level of concentration? Okay, um, what what are, what are the coaches telling uh, telling Aruna at this moment? Uh, but because he is experienced, okay, uh, and he is someone that obviously um, knows the game. He's been he's been you know touted to be one of those that will probably make us smile probably uh, at the end of this competition. I actually strongly tip him to win that game tomorrow. Uh, it's a good thing that he actually did not start uh you know this uh table tennis competition for us and that the others are started ahead of him so uh, i see a situation where he would probably um, try and as much as possible to redeem the situation for us uh, i'm actually looking forward to, to 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 him winning his game tomorrow and hopefully i'll, I'll be proved uh, very uh, very right uh for for a change he's someone who obviously relies on his, his strength he, and his skills uh, um, I've watched him play. He's, um, I think he's actually really, really improved. He has improved. Uh, he might not have had the greatest of the preparations towards this uh, tournament, during this competition. But I think uh, it, when, when, when push comes to show, uh, he would be able to rely on his experience and probably pick one or two tricks out of his pocket tomorrow. Of course, uh, well, there's actually no confidence. Jonathan, are you confident uh, uh, in uh, Haruna Kodri you know, delivering the goods uh, for Nigeria tomorrow? Definitely, I'm very, very confident. He's the most experienced player in the squad. He's our captain, and I hope he will break this losing streak we've been having since the Olympics started. Mm. And if anyone can break that mm. jinx, Haruna is the man to do it. If anyone can break that jinx, is uh, Haruna Kodri uh, that will actually do it. That is actually coming from uh, Jonathan. Uh, that, what do you see? Haruna, country, you know, breaking at the Jane Star tomorrow. Well, I pray, I pray he gets all his uh, all his strokes through, all his services through. Uh, but I don't want I don't want Nigerians to actually you know place the pressure of winning of grabbing medals on the shoulders of Aaron Quadri. I've seen in more than two Olympics where he, he crashed out just in the first round. When the pressure was just too much on him, the concentration was just too heavy for his neck to, you know, to, to, to carry. He didn't have any option. Everything was thinking about what the service, his strokes, will he get in? Uh, what would Nigerians say? In two different Olympics, and he didn't, he didn't cross the first round. So this time around, I don't want them right there in Tokyo to start heaping the weight of Nigerians in a quest to win medals to win all their games played. You cannot win all the games to play. And that is why in these games, we are what we call classification. You know, but I'm open. I'm open, which is what I want, which is what all Nigerians want, for him to win. But we should also pray for him to get his strokes right, get his plans, you know, articulated so that he can go into this game and win. I believe so much that he will win. Anytime a Nigerian athlete is performing, my hope is that they win. And that's also the hope of everybody. If you actually put smiles, you know, on the faces of everybody, I believe so much that I don't know Kodri we start this quest, you know, for picking a medal at Tokyo right from this first game. And I think, I think, uh, sorry, Wally, uh, just to just to uh, also buttress it, my, my point. Um, uh, during 2016 Olympics, um, uh, Gustavo actually crashed out in the first round. And uh, Kodri, I think, went all the way to the quarterfinals, which is a plus for, for, for him. Yeah. So um, hopefully um, um, the, the, the Brazilian wouldn't have learned his lesson and probably crash out in, uh, in, in this, in this uh, round against uh, uh, Arunau. And don't forget that the, the, the Brazilian already beat in a Romanian uh, counterpart in the first round. So uh, um, qualifying for the, the third round, um, 
uh, he's got at least a game in on under his belt. So, uh, but the thing is, that I, 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 I kind of like strongly feel uh, no pressure on 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 Aaron. I kind of feel that um, he, he might just tip it tomorrow because uh, obviously because of uh, due to his experience, all his Olympic experience, obviously club experience too. Of course, uh, his, his experience, his club experience, uh, uh, will be, you know, uh, be tested uh, tomorrow against uh, a certain uh, Gustavo who has actually you know, uh, played a game and has you know, uh, progressed to the third round. Uh, but do you see, uh, we know that uh, Harun Akari has not played a game, would that actually you know, count in his favour or against him? Well, I surely, I think it should count in his favour. And, you know, and as for me, uh, you know, in my own opinion, I feel. I have high expectations, you know. Like I said earlier, before uh, we, 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 we switched to talk, we can't continue saying players go to the Olympics, just participate at the combat. We should be taking up winning medals. So for me, in my own opinion, I don't know what every other Nigerian thinks, but I have huge expectations on Aaron Akwadri. There's a reason why he is Team Nigeria captain. Yes. Because, I mean, he's one of our medal hopefuls. Of course. Any other person would have been Team Nigeria captain. But, I mean, I, I feel they felt that uh, being a medal hopeful, he should lead the team. And he's stepping out tomorrow. My expectations are really high. And not just me. A lot of the expectations of millions of Nigerians are high on Aaron Okodri. So, and I really expect him to really come out blazing in tomorrow's game. You know, he's had the experience, like uh, Wally said, both club and even, you know, even, even in the Olympics. So, I mean, this shouldn't be another Olympics for where he goes and just participates again. Like I said earlier, we should get past this, this, this thing of always going to the Olympics to participate. Even countries like Estonia mm. are winning medals winning in the Olympics. Mm. So, why do we keep going to the Olympics just to participate, to make up the numbers, just being an Olympian? Let's win a medal this time around. We haven't seen a gold medal since we did it in 1996. Mm. Let's do something this 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 this, this year. So I, I have had huge expectations on Aaron Cody, and I expect again, like I said yesterday, that when we come back here tomorrow, they'll be celebrating. <laughs> you keep expecting. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> you keep expecting. At the end of the day, we get to lose and we get to crash out. You can join us all the way from London. Uh, Vivian, how are you? You make a return to the show. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Hi, Sheffield today. Sheffield is good. It's sunny uh, compared to a few days ago, which was rainy. Of course, uh, looking at uh, Nigerian's performance in the early hours of today, Elizabeth was sent sparking. Adam also was sent sparking. Uh, the likes of uh, Ade Shoko and the uh, doubles uh, men uh, uh, event uh, also were, you know, they were defeated in that particular, you know, match. Uh, give us your uh, your reaction uh, for those that uh, lost uh, for Team Nigeria. So it's very disappointing uh, to see that we haven't really uh, won a, a major game yet, apart from um, Edem uh, in the table tennis uh, that she played. Um, so it's really disappointing to see that we are not really doing uh, as great as we should. Of course, uh, it is really, really disappointing for us uh, not to have, you know, uh, getting uh, to uh, move past what Adam, ha you know, has given uh, to the Nigerians here back home. But uh, for now, uh, we want to go on a short break. But endeavor uh, that uh, you actually, you know, get to share our videos uh, right there on Facebook and also on YouTube. Uh, call your friends and family for them to, you know, to hook up on the show. Uh, be rest assured that uh, we will be bringing to you all the latest and the biggest uh, sports uh, news are uh, coming in and out uh, from the Olympic Games. Of course, after the short break, athletics, uh, table tennis also, Funke Oshonaike. Yes, you'll be wondering why Funke Oshonaike is in the news today, but uh, she's in the news uh, for a good reason. Of course, uh, we'll still be talking about uh, the Tigers, uh, uh, which uh, they'll be playing against uh, the high attacking uh, US team uh, tomorrow but these and many more will come after at this short break don't go nowhere
Getting to watch uh, uh, that uh, particular video uh, from Odunayo uh, Adekuruye, uh, who is also expected you know, to do the country proud when uh, the wrestling event uh, uh, kicks off right there at the Tokyo Olympic uh, Games. Of course, uh, Salifu Usman, you know, get to join us uh, all the way uh, from Tokyo at this point in time. Uh, Salifu, Tokyo, if you can hear me, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm? Of course, we can hear you. Hello. Of course, we can hear you. Good evening, everyone. The Tokyo game is still on. And just like everybody is in at the studio, I don't want to believe that the, the Tokyo, the ongoing Tokyo game is end for Team Nigeria yet. Though our team, our athletes have not been fairly be fair well so far, but we still have a lot of game going on, lined up for ahead. And we have athletics still waiting. We have a, we still have wrestling. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go on. Yes, go on, go on. We can hear you. Okay. Just like I was, we we'll still have, we we'll still have athletics uh, remaining. We we'll still have athletics going to start on Friday. We we'll still have wrestling wrestling on. We we'll still have basketball coming on. So we we'll still have a lot of sports that are at our our team Nigeria still participating, and and I don't want to believe that uh, we are going to end this game without murder. And just like everyone is saying, uh, if you look at this game, sport is capital intensive. And back home in Nigeria, all we normally have is only government alone that finance support. Our private sector never come into to support the stuff. And that is why I particularly want to believe and to commend the, the current government and the, the led by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Sonny Dari. It's only the minister that has come so far to, to try that to bring private private initiative into the game. And that is why in, the, in this ongoing Olympic, we have a lot of private private comp uh, private comp private company. And induct and uh, induct a lot of athletes supporting a lot of athletes in support of the game. Unlike before, before now, what we normally have is that at the end of the game, if by adventure the athlete get to win a better, that, that is why you have a, a corporate, a corporate body coming to support the to, to, coming to, to 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 celebrate the athlete. But this advice as it may, is, we still have a lot of hope in this ongoing game. So it is not how we got lost in Nigeria, and I still want to believe that, baby lady, this game is not going to be like the pre. This game is not going to be like the previous two Olympic London game and the Tokyo and the Rio game that we didn't make uh, and the Rio, Rio game. Of of, of course, uh, Sally Fu right out there is absolutely no uh, confident uh, that uh, these uh, Olympic games will not be. Uh, the likes Hello? of the 2012 and the 2016 uh, games that we didn't actually know get uh, to Hello? remember that, but we just you know get to uh, win the bronze medal at the row uh, 2016 uh, game. Uh, but uh, Salifu, looking at the presence of uh, the sports minister talking about our uh, Sunday diary uh, at uh, March uh, day venue, uh, has it been actually you know been encouraging the athletes to actually you know go uh, for uh, for glories? You know, honestly, honestly, the Mr. Sunday Dare has been on and doing it. And if you look at it, because the, because there's no fans allowed into the uh, game venue, is the only Nigerian you see at every, not everywhere you see Team Nigeria. 
general athletic competing as early yes, as, as today as early as no, six o'clock as six o'clock the minister is already on and, and was, was at the uh, the taekwondo event from the taekwondo event to tennis but at every every event you, you see at nigeria athlete participating you see this man already at the game he's the only one sharing the athlete off and despite the despite that the athlete has not been they, are, they have not been fair well so far he keep on encouraging the athlete just like mr dakos keep on saying was saying earlier was saying earlier that that failure is not the end it's not the end of your life you learn from your mistake and you move you move on and that is what that and that's the message he has been passing they are trying to be passed across the athlete never let get your never get let your head get down you still have a long hope of hogan looking at the the the, the, the quarter lady that crashed out but even though even though he had meet she had crashed out but if you look at her performance again against it they have talked is a talk is a talk is opening she did well although but his experience was not on her side and giving that guess another four years to come he's, he's going to be a champion but all we need that is to support the athlete and keep on that just keep on moving on and trying to encourage the athlete and, and, and at the same time just like me said earlier if you look at our technical our technical aspect of the game in nigeria is is total is totally not there Mm. Because we, it is only in Nigeria we, we have, we even have, have to see that even the athlete is even better than the, the person that is coach. <laughs> coaching he or him. And that is one of the things we need to we need to work uh, we need to work on to improve the technique the technical the technical department of the team Nigeria. Of course, uh, Alpha, I have a question uh, for you, uh, Salifu. Salifu, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, Salifu, can you Am hear I me? On? Yes, you are yes, on. Yes, yes. Can you Stop. hear me? Wale. Yes, I hello. can hear you, Salifu. Yes, I can hear you, Salifu. We can hear you. Because uh, we are finding it, you know, uh, difficult uh, to actually, you know, uh, know uh, bring the Salifu on the show. But uh, rest assured that uh, when we get through him, uh, we will actually, you know, uh, bring him on uh, the show. But at, at this point in time, we want to actually do things uh, our sponsor talking about our uh, car springs. Uh, uh, they have actually, you know, you know, get to sponsor this show. Uh, you just have to, you know, check them out. Uh, uh, them, you know, doing the digital printing at uh, the speed of light. You can actually, you know, check them out. Uh, uh, for, for 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 your printing uh, stuff, uh, but uh, actually looking at Team Nigeria performance so far, I wanted to ask uh, uh, Salifu about uh, the welfare of yes, that's uh, where I was the, going to. Yes, you of the athletes if, if, if they have been taken, exactly. you, know, you know, into he consideration. Is in we are here he in is, he is in Tokyo. So you know better. Here. So I, I can't to ask him. Yes, exactly. But at this point in time, looking at that, uh, so, but maybe when he comes back. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Of course, uh, Vivian, uh, looking at uh, Nigeria's participation uh, in the Olympic Games, uh, uh, would you say uh, that welfare has been put into um, uh, consideration? Okay, I feel like when it comes to welfare, it's really important for um, the coaches and the athletes themselves to um, take care of their mental health and also for the investors and uh, just everyone to just make sure that the athletes are doing well uh, because this is a tough game and they're against Americans, the Kenyans, the Jamaicans. So it's really important that they consider the health in uh, consideration. Of course, uh, they need to actually you know, consider other welfare to ensure that that can actually you know, boost uh, the morale of the athlete uh, for them to give in their best uh, uh, when they compete uh, in uh, the Olympic Games. Uh, but at this point in time, I want to tell our viewers uh, that you can actually, you know, uh, join us on the show. You can write your comment about uh, uh, what you actually wish uh, Team Nigeria right here on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page, and be rest assured uh, that uh, we are going uh, to read them out as you keep uh, them coming. At this point in time, we go to 
uh, the news are uh, coming uh, from uh, Tokyo. Uh, well, uh, Funke Oshaneke has a match first uh, woman to be inducted into the seventh club of uh, the Olympics. Talking about uh, she has, you know, uh, been representing uh, Nigeria in uh, for good seven Olympic uh, games at this point in time. But Dapo, uh, what do you make up of this uh, induction uh, uh, from uh, 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 to, you know, uh, Funke Oshaneke? You know, getting uh, to be competing in a seventh Olympics. Like yourself, it is not easy joining the the club seven. The club seven, if you see their composition, they are not more than they are not more than just six athletes across the world that has actually participated in in, in table tennis at the Olympics in the last, you know. Uh, decade or if not, I'm, I don't know how from how long, but as long as as long as they are alive, it is only just about six to seven of them that has been in your know, in the, the Olympics playing in your table tennis. Uh, at the Rio Olympics, we had uh, uh Shegun Toriola also eating and um, becoming a, a member of the club seven. Now, this time around, it is the turn of Funke Oshunaike, and it's a very big one for Nigeria at least. One of the very few with two players, with two Olympians from the same country. It is a good one for Nigeria. And it will actually speak well of development for Nigeria. If there are, if there are propositions to actually develop our table tennis players across Europe and also in America, the, the consideration will always be there because they are, they are antecedents. We have you know, our players who have actually done very well done very well playing in the olympics over 28 years uninterrupted and that is a big one for nigeria big one for the for for funke and also shegun Torella that, that actually attained his own at rio 2016. so it's a very good one i want to say very big congratulations to funke you have been there she's over 40 years old now and she still made it to this olympics to meet up with a seventh participation. Very good one. And I want to say all the big congratulations to the Nigerian Table Tennis you know, Federation and African Federation also, putting their ass together to encourage these players to get to the height which they are at the moment. It's a very big one for Nigeria. Of course, it's a very, very big one uh, for Nigeria. Fuke Oshinake, she's 46 years old, and uh, she actually, you know, uh, is, she is the second African athlete uh, after Toriola in any sport uh, to future in seventh Olympic uh, Games. Uh, uh, she started her Olympic uh, no, uh, participation far back as uh, Atlanta in uh, 1996, uh, there about in the United States of America. Well, at this point in time, Jonathan, uh, what will be your reaction of Fuke or should I can you know, get into being inducted in the club of seven? I think this is a good one. Big congratulations to her. With this, she has joined the likes of Jokin, Zora Premori of Croatia, John Mikkel, Savage of Belgium, and one other guy from Sweden. So she's the fifth to be the next player to have achieved such a feat, and I think it's a good one. Congratulations to her. Of course, congratulations to her. Alpha, are you congratulating her also? Huge congratulations. I mean, Jonathan said it all. But spacing the Olympic Games for seven times is not an easy feat. I mean, the Olympics comes once in every four years. So if you check, you know, four years, you know, multiplied by seven times, that is going to almost like, you know, about 20 something or close to about, yes, you know, 30 years. So it's really not uh, a, a, a small feat, you know. So big congratulations to her. Yes, we expected that, you know, she would have gone for gold or, you know, left, you know, this is mostly likely looking her like her last Olympics. So we expected her to, you know, go there and come with a bank. But notwithstanding, she was able to still qualify for yet another Olympics. So, I mean, she's a winner already. So irrespective of whether she won a medal or not in this Olympics, but I mean, being an Olympian for, for, for seven times is no mean feat. And, you know, I say huge congratulations to her. And I really hope that, you know, other Olympians who are participating, participating in their second or third by now, you know, will look up to Funke and say that if she can do it, they too can also do it. So nice one to her. Of course, uh, Vivian, what does it mean to young athletes uh, who are actually you know, coming up uh, for uh, looking at the likes of uh, Funke Oshanaki, Shabon Toriola? Uh, they have been inducted into uh, the seventh club. 
Yeah, it's going to be really inspiring because now um, I think they'll be looking at themselves and they'll be saying, can I be just like her? How many plays can I do? How many years can I play? So it's, it's going to be really interesting to see who is going to take her spot in the, in the next few years. Mm. Of course, uh, it will be interesting for who will actually you know uh, take her sport uh, in the next uh, a few years. Maybe Adam of Younger, uh, who uh, she, uh, she, this is a fourth Olympic, and we are you know uh, expecting her to actually you know uh, come from the uh, Paris or uh, for Los Angeles, and hopefully uh, maybe for the one that will be hosted in Australia. Uh, but at this point in time, Sally, if you can hear me, what has uh, in terms of uh, a welfare? Of, of, of the athlete, how has it been? Are the sports ministry been doing what are they expected uh, to do right there in uh, the Olympic Games? <clears throat> Salifu, can you hear me? Can I do how many years to see who is going to take her spot? In the, in the next few years. Of course, uh, Salifu can uh, not hear, uh, hear me at this point in time, but uh, we head straight up. Uh, uh, two athletes at this point in time where eight Nigerian athletes are on the go out of competition test, uh, which is actually a no called O uh, City in Japan. Eight Nigerian champs and field events are start, uh, outstanding out of the competition. A uh, test has taken the test on Monday and are now awaiting results on Tuesday uh, before uh, to the Olympic uh, uh, Olympic uh, uh, time uh, for the start of uh, the athletics uh, event uh, on Friday. Uh, the likes of um, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Blessing or Kat Barry, Divine Oduduru, Dudu is a brumet to be a Muslim, Chikwe Buka, a few others are among uh, uh, the 782 athletes uh, in the elite uh, registered testing pool uh, have been uh, cleared uh, to actually you know compete uh, uh, in uh, the Olympic Games. So we are actually looking. Uh, forward for the other athletes, uh, Nigerian and home-based athletes, and also uh, foreign-based athletes, for them to you know to uh, undergo such tests so that they can be able to play uh, uh, to compete in uh, the Olympic Games. At this point in time, we want to tell you that uh, the World Athletics, uh, you know, the National Anti-Doping Organization (NADO) uh, are out there, you know, responsible to ensure that the countries uh, ensure that the athletes are tested uh, three times. Uh, before competing in any of uh, the Olympic event, but looking at this point in time, why are we just you know going for testing? At uh, that point, I go straight to you. Why are we just going for testing at this point in time where we are in the Olympics? Uh, you have to the testing is is for doping. It's very very important. If don't if you don't do it, you are not going to compete, and you can you will know that the the athletics is coming up. It's just uh, a number of days for athletics to start you must do the dope test for you mm -hmm. to be checked if you have uh, a banned substance in you it is always you know a urine test you will check it widely and check if there are banned substances if you have it you are not going to compete either you say you took it when you were sick or you took it accidentally from a drink from whatever you are not going to come it's just very very apt you must do it before you go into competition and again after competing after competing if they are convinced that your performance is is is, uh, is suspicious. You cannot stop them from asking you to also come for doping immediately after after the race. So it is mandatory. The athletes they know the regulations. They know what they are supposed to do. Right now, it is time for 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 testing. So you must be you must be clear. You must be cleared for you to compete. And I remember you know before the departure from from Nigeria, the sports minister appealing. To the athletes to please be dope free i believe they will have adhered to this because the athletes sometimes are very very stubborn they want to some of them want to win at all costs but the, the minister has already appealed to them the same thing with the president of the nigerian olympic committee they've seen it all and they know you know what athletes can do they can't they can be so daring if they want to win they set a target for themselves they don't care they don't care what what comes out of it their own is just to win for, not forgetting that the organizers are there. The organizers are watching you. You must be dope free. You must take. You must not take bad substances, and that is why they are going for what they are doing right now ahead of the competition. Of course, Alpha 
Will it be a win at all costs that for an athlete competing at the Olympics? Not a win at all costs, but I mean, the reason why athletes, you know, really, you know, take banned substances, you know, going to the games is because they want to win. Mm. So, you know, for our athletes to be cleared after going through the actual competition testing is a really good one, you know, so that we don't have incidences of doping. I mean, it would be a really sad story if at the end of the day you win a medal. And it's been found out that you are actually under the influence of, you know, a banned substance. So it's better to go there. I mean, the Olympics is about fairness. Go there, do your thing, whether you win or you lose. But let it be that, you know, you you, you participated on the clean slate. So it's, it's a nice one that our athletes, you know, have come out clean in the OCT test. So good one for them. So we really look forward to them as they step out on track and field event as it begins in a couple of days to really go out there and do their thing without any fear. Of course, uh, Vivian, in 2000, uh, at, at the Sydney Olympics, uh, and Nigeria actually, you know, 4 by 4 you know, uh, uh, relay team actually, you know, came second behind uh, the US team, uh, which actually emerged uh, winners. Uh, but uh, after uh, some time, uh, after a doping test, it was discovered that two of the uh, US athletes, uh, uh, they were, you know, they tested positive uh, you know, for doping. At this point in time, their medals were withdrawn and they was given uh, to Nigeria uh, that uh, actually made us to you know to win uh, that uh, gold uh, medals uh, uh, in 2000. But at this point in time, uh, what would be your message for the officials and the athletes are uh, looking for that uh, that they should be dope free? I'm sure that most of our athletes are going to be uh, dope free. Um, they are talented athletes. They don't need to be um, taking any uh, dopamine in order to run fast or to do any relays. So uh, my message would be that for them to keep concentrating, keep training, and they will uh, win bronze um, and silver and even uh, gold. Mm. Vivian uh, seems very, very confident that uh, Nigeria will win a uh, bronze, silver, and gold. Also, uh, we are confident we are actually you know, supporting them. Nigerians right here all over the world are actually you know, supporting them for them to actually you know, bring medals uh, uh, to the country at the end of uh, the Olympic Games. But Salifu, if you can hear me, uh, what is uh, the welfare package like uh, uh, to the athletes uh, from uh, the sports ministry? Of course, uh, Salifu can't uh, hear me at this point in time. But uh, we we'll move away from uh, athletics. Uh, we head straight uh, to uh, the big game that we actually know be going down tomorrow, right there in the early hours of tomorrow. Talking about an uh, Nigerian time, where our own the Tigers uh, will lock horns with uh, uh, world number one. Talking about uh, uh, the US team uh, right there in Tokyo. Uh, we know that uh, at the last uh, friendly match uh, played in the US uh, uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, uh, the USA actually you know, defeated us at uh, 93 to uh, 62. That match ended, and the friendly games uh, uh, prior, prior to the Olympics. Uh, but at this point in time, we know that uh, the Tigers, uh, they are African champions. Uh, uh, they went to the Olymp uh, they went to the World Cup, and they actually you know, got to uh, the quarterfinal stage. Uh, they are rated eight in the world at this point in time. Uh, looking at uh, their performance uh, uh, during their uh, uh, during their you know, preparation to the Olympics. Uh, uh, they actually you know, played uh, about uh, six matches uh, in, in the friendly games. Uh, they, they, they lost uh, four. They, they actually you know, won two. But uh, Jonathan, looking at uh, the Tigers, you know, going to, the, uh, going to this match against the uh, USA, are you confident that we can actually you know, upset uh, the Americans? Yes, why not? I think they can, they can pull an upset. Mm. Like this is their second Olympics. Their first was in 2004 mm. in Athens. Mm. They lost all their four games. Mm. And this is what I would they're experiencing winning the Afro Championship in 2017 mm. and 2019. Mm. I believe they are more experienced, more mature now to take on the US team. Mm. I believe they can pull a surprise. Of course, uh, Alpha, uh, looking at the Tigers, uh, we know uh, they have been, you know, working hard. They have been the most uh, successful, you know, team in uh, in basketball in the country. Uh, they are uh, actually far ahead of the Tigers. Uh, but at this point in time, do you see them, you know, uh, you know, uh, making an upset uh, when they play the, the Americans? Well, I, in sports, you know, anything can happen actually. So 
I won't be surprised if the you know an upset happens, but you know, on current form, the Americans are way better than them. They played during the trials. They were trounced, you know, by the Americans. So and you know, sometimes there's this feeling of when someone beats you in a particular sport going for another battle with that, you know, person or, or team, sometimes there's this, uh, you know, uh, fear you have that, you know, not uh, fear you have, uh, and you might not bring in your A game because you might be afraid of not losing the game. But I really think that the Tigers will, you know, at least do their best, you know, during the trials, they played four games, won just two of those games, you know, so game, played six games, actually one, two, lost, lost four. four, you know, so, I think that wasn't a really decent result, in my, if, if you ask me. So, uh, I, I feel going into the game with the uh, U.S. Uh, female basketball team, they should really put their acts together and really uh, do something spectacular because beating the Americans, you need to be, you know, it's at your best, game, yes. you know. Notwithstanding what has happened with the, you know, the, the, the men's basketball team, I still believe at some point, uh, the, the the U.S. men's basketball team will still pick up, but I mean, this is the female basketball team. They are still number one on you know on, on the planet. So the Tigers are African champions. So they are evenly matched, you know. So I I really expect the Tigers, the, the Tigers, Tigers rather to really put up come up with their you know put up their best performances. So whether they win or lose, they will still have a chance to play one or two other teams before the next round. So but like always, like I say, I mean. Yeah. They are representing, uh, you know, Team Nigeria. So, what we'll root for them? So, like I say all the time, <laughs> when we are previewing games, I really hope that tomorrow when we come back here, we'll be celebrating yet. <laughs> we'll be celebrating <laughs> another victory. Of course, uh, we'll be celebrating <laughs> our first. <laughs> Even that for our day is actually a lot. <laughs> but let's get uh, let's get your reaction uh, between. Uh, the Tigers, you know, they'll be uh, facing uh, the highly attacking uh, US team, you know, uh, their world uh, number one at this point in time. No doubt about it, all their stars are uh, they are playing in the women's MPA, while we have few of our own you know, uh, girls you know, playing in the MPAs, but they're they actually you know, playing in the uh, uh, all over, you know, Europe at this point in time. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's get a reaction at the match uh, between the Tigers and uh, the USA. Well, just like Alpha, I also want to come here tomorrow to to celebrate and wear, you know, some, you know, good smiles on, on my face, just like every other person. Uh, but we have to also, you know, uh, hope that uh, the 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 Tigresses they get their their game right. If that is what basketball is all about. And we also we should also pray that tomorrow uh, tomorrow early in the morning tomorrow, because the game we played at four thirty a.m. You know, it's, tomorrow is not their bad day. You know, bad day in the sense that you will be battling for your for your free throws. You will be battling with your two point shots. Your three point shot does not go in. Sometimes in basketball there are bad days, but I believe so much, and I'm praying, I'm hoping that tomorrow should not be that way. No matter, no matter your skills, no matter you know the level of uh, players you have in your team. If it's not your day, it is not your day. We will find out that all your free throws, you know, kept eating the rim. Your your two point shots are not going into the basket. Your three point shots, which we have to bank on, rely on solely to give you enough points, enough margin to beat your opponent, does not, you know, go hourly. So my, that's my hope. I believe the girls have done enough. They've done enough. They've actually achieved at every point. And uh, this time around, not minding. Uh, the stoppage of two Ogumike sisters, the, the, the team that has been put together by the coach, I think they are, they, are, they are very good. They are worthy of doing very well. They are worthy of putting smiles on the face of Nigeria every time they play. But the opposition against them, you know, playing against the U.S., is going to be a very big test. And as I, I, was, I, I used to say, I used to say, they should not be intimidated. The girls are not going to be intimidated because... Almost all of them are based in the U.S. Half of them play, you know, they were in the U.S. before, in the WNBA, but they moved to, to, to European clubs. And in Europe, they play a, a different kind of basketball, much faster than, much faster than uh, what, you know, what they, they used to play in the WNBA. Because in Europe, they bank mostly on three-point shots to move ahead. 
in, in in WNBA, you want to get into the act before shooting, you know. So all this put together, we have we have them in in our team, and I believe so much that let's see what happens. But I won't blame the girls. I won't blame the girls. I will praise them when they win. But I'm just praying that tomorrow should not be a bad day for Nigeria where the game is basketball. You may be at your best. You may be at your best. But by the time your shots are not going in, you know, you have the time out to make. You have, and there's also what they call the end game. I believe so much that the, the, the coaches and even the, the players, they must have perfected their arts for the end game. End game happens in the fourth quarter when we are just seven minutes to go. That is when the end game, you know, come up. And if you are a master, you will always capitalize on it. Then just, yeah, we're almost doing it. The, the, the Tigers, the men's team, they were almost doing it against Australia. But things just went bad. And uh, what we have now is what we have now. So I believe so much that tomorrow will be, you know, a day for the Tigers. Let them start well. I'm not, we are, they are not afraid of the Americans. Because the girls are also based in America. They played in the WBA, NBA, before some of them moved to, to Europe. And uh, the technical know-how of the chief coach, I have, you know, so much, you know, trust in him that he will put up his, his, his best, he will put in his best to ensure that the girls record a very favorable result. And if you look at uh, the, the result of the Tigers, the, the girls want to surpass it. Because if you check very well, aside from, aside from the, the men, get into the Olympics first time before them, uh, the London 2012, you know, they want to achieve. They want to achieve even better than, than the men, from the women, from the team I know so much, from the girls I know so much. They always want to do better than the men. So I believe that they will put their act together also. But please, they should also pray for luck. When the luck is there, there's everything you do to achieve success. So I wish them luck. I wish them luck and uh, the Americans should take whatever comes their way because Nigeria is actually, you know, out to win. They're out to win and they will definitely play to win. But good luck. I pray for good luck for them. Of course, uh, Dapo, at this point in time, is actually you no know, praying for good luck. Uh, half hour. You also you are praying for good luck. But before I come to half hour, and also I come, uh, before I go to Vivian, also we want to read uh, a comment actually, you know, pouring out from our Facebook page at uh, this point in time. Uh, this is actually coming from Al Wali saying, watching uh, from Meduguri. Thanks. Uh, uh, hi, is Meduguri, if you, can, if you can hear me at this point in time. Of course, uh, Bio Amodu in a uh, uh, YouTube page is saying, Team Nigeria did not prepare well before going uh, to the Olympics. Hmm. We have Harry on our Facebook page. He said, good analysis watching from Abuja. I thank you, Harry, uh, uh, from Abuja. Also, Ben Azuka, I said, how do you want them to do when the environment, they are a team uh, coming from, do not give them uh, much encouragement. Okay. Uh, ben is saying that uh, we don't actually give uh, Team Nigeria much encouragement in that particular one. Of course, uh, I did buy a module on the Facebook. You said the Tigers uh, will actually beat uh, uh, the American team uh, come out uh, tomorrow. All these uh, many more are actually you know, coming from a Facebook page at this point in time. Uh, if you're watching a uh, nice view, this is actually coming from Ibrahim uh, Muhammad. I uh, thank you, Ibrahim uh, Muhammad, uh, for that comment. You can actually you know, keep uh, your comment pouring it. You can ensure that uh, you get to share our videos right here on Facebook or right there on YouTube at this point in time. You can actually know listening to uh listing on podcast.leadership.ng uh anchor spotify audio mark and also major a uh, podcaster and uh, listening platform uh, in that uh, particular one i go straight uh, to vivian vivian will be playing the united uh, states of america tomorrow talking about uh the tigress uh, we know that uh, they lost that uh, uh you know uh preparation uh a preparatory game against uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, in Las Vegas uh, just barely two weeks ago, and now they're expecting you know to face them uh, tomorrow. What will be your message for the team? Uh, looking at uh, the likes of the stars, we will actually you know parade uh, in that uh, particular team. My message would be uh, maybe for Miracle because the American teams they are very strong. Um, I'm not really sure how uh, the Tigers will be able to uh, win against the Americans team. So for Miracle, for Luck, and just for them to just keep going and 
um hopefully they'll be able to win hmm. hopefully uh they'll be able to win uh but uh uh, Alpha, looking at this team, we know that uh, they actually you know, defeated us in the World Cup of 2018, uh, thereabouts, and uh, ever since then, we have not been able you know, to defeat uh, uh, the US team in any major competition. But well, at this point in time, do you see that the Tigers, you know, are getting, you know, to, to make a huge a statement uh, when uh, they play the Americans tomorrow? I really hope so. Like I said earlier, you know, like I said, you know, there's this thing of history repeating itself when you keep playing the team and the keep the team keeps beating you going into the next game you always have that fear or some sort of hesitation that you might going to lose you know against the team like Vivian rightly says she's hoping for a miracle well I think I might share you know in her opinion also because uh except the tiger the tigress come with something extra spectacular I really don't want to say sound you know pessimistic but don't I be really, a prophet of yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> i really don't see them you know between the americans except they have to do something spectacularly fantastic but whichever it is you know this is sport you could lose to a teams for a hundred years and one day you might just get your act together and you know you, you know surprise that team so i really hope that that will be the case with the tigers tomorrow so We'll, we'll, we'll look forward to that game is i mean i understand it's in the early hours of you know tomorrow we'll look forward to that game and we'll just sit back enjoy the game and see what they you know they, they come up with okay uh, uh dapo uh we saw uh the uh the french team talking about france that uh, they defeated uh the u.s team uh which afternoon inflicted uh their first uh, defeat uh in the uh, 17 years far back as uh, 2004. uh with that uh, defeat uh, uh to the u.s team actually serve as a motivation uh for the tigers uh tigers uh, when uh they played against uh, the u.s uh, women's team yes that most definitely it will serve as uh, as an encouragement for them it will also serve as a boost for them to go all out and beat the americans now we are beginning to see that the americans are not they are not invincible they are beatable when you play your game and you articulate your plan your game plan game plan is very 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 important and your game plan if a plan a is not working the coaches they know what to do to fall back to fall back to to plan b and articulate it so it is there you have a long time to play in the game of basketball the game of basketball you, you take your time and make sure your your major players are not they're not fouled out make sure your defense is actually put in a, in a, in a very tight situation to, to allow to 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 prevent your opponent from from gaining access there and uh, the the american team and looking at our girls who are basically based in america you know it is going to be a very big battle it's going to be a very big day. i know they will come they will come with some kind of onslaught but girls, they are, they, are, they are equal to the tax. They will be able to defend very well. And as they defend here and there, quick breaks, getting their shots, ensuring that they get the three-point shot very well. And also the two-point shots, the free throws, and just like I've said earlier on, when you do that and you defend very well and you ensure you have less turnovers, don't drop the ball, don't, don't make mistakes, ensure and make sure you shoot on time because basketball is about shooting. It's about scoring. They have they have the shot clock that that that, that actually checks the, the 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 period they hold the ball. But they know what to do. They know what to do. And if the game is getting to 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 the end game, make sure you listen. To, they listen to the, the the coaches. They listen to the coaches. I'm sure Mike Brown will definitely be assisting the chief coach of of, of the of the uh, of the Tigers in this game. They should work together and ensure they give the girls quick instructions there shouldn't be any delay because the americans are also very fast our girls are also very fast i've seen them play a number of times and also watch them they are the two teams what they will the two teams will be banking on is ensuring their their shots get into the basket the two teams I'm, I'm 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 repeating the americans we want to ensure their shots get into the basket the same thing the nigerian team will be employing the same uh, tactics they will be employing so whoever get their shots right whoever get their three-point shot right on time their free throws the defense and ensure they, they they have less turnovers this is the team that will win and I, I pray this happens you know in favor of nigeria so they are going into a very tough game 
the, the players they know themselves is like coming together locking the doors in the hall and say yeah let's play whoever wins that will be the situation and you know tomorrow morning and um, i hope that the nigerian girls will get their arts together they'll get the arts together they are footing everything they should just get together and they should watch out for fast breaks from the american team they know that they know what to do i hope they get their their arts together tomorrow morning because uh, Dapo is hoping that uh, the Tigers actually you know, get uh, their ass together to ensure that uh, they make use of the fast break, uh, the turnovers, to ensure that the three point is all rightly on point. Uh, because we saw that our own three point, when we talk about the Tigers against Australia, we're not that uh, top notch, but we expect them to actually you know, to bring an impressive uh, performance. Uh, before I come to, uh, to, to Jonathan, we have also a uh, comment uh, coming from Facebook. I am watching. Uh, from Liberia, Moldova. That, that is actually you know, coming from Harry. You know, Harry. Harry. Uh, also, Adibayo uh, Amodu is saying, I'm watching from Abuja. Thank you, Adibayo uh, Amodu, from uh, watching uh, in Abuja. Also, uh, Chubuzo uh, is saying, inclusive, uh, inclusive, incisive, incisive uh, uh, analysis. Uh, well done, guys. Thank you, uh, Chubuzo, uh, for uh, that comment. But uh, at this point in time, uh, Jonathan. Uh, what will be your message uh, before your message? I uh, can okay. Tell us your message. A uh, four team Nigeria ahead of the U.S. class. Like Alpha rightly said, this mm. is sports. Anything can happen. Mm. It takes just a day mm. to, to break a jinx. Mm. Tomorrow might just be that day. So they should go for the win. Of course, uh, they should go uh, for uh, the win. Uh, Alpha, looking at uh, uh, the group uh, which uh, uh, the Tigers are in at this point in time, uh, we are in Group B, uh, who after the US game tomorrow will be playing Japan and France. At this point in time, can we actually you know, qualify from that group at uh, the host country and France? It's a really tough group, you know, because I mean, we are up against the US, France is there. And of course, being in any group, in any competition with the host country is always a very difficult group. So yes. I really don't, you know, uh, want to be in the, you know, in the position that the, the Tigers are in right now. But I just really hope that they put up their best, you know, foot forward. This is sport. This is a game. I mean, all the teams came prepared for this competition. So... Let's see. Let, 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 let's let's watch what happens against the USA tomorrow. You know, from from there we can start making our you know all the permutations we need to make in the group. You know, uh, there's Japan in that group. Host the the French side are also not pushovers in that team. So um, when when they play their first game, and we we'll also see the outcome between the French and you know the Japanese, Japanese who are hosting. Yes. So when when the games pan pan out tomorrow, we'll. I think we'll have a clearer picture of what the group might eventually look like. So, uh, like I keep saying, I'll still keep rooting for the Tigers and you know, I really hope that they come out victorious in that one tomorrow. Of course, as you can see on your screen, Group A has uh, Korea, Serbia, uh, Canada and Spain. Uh, while in Group C, we have uh, Australia, uh, we have the, uh, China, we have Belgium and we have uh, Peru in that uh, uh, particular uh, group. Uh, we are expected to see the best losers, you know, from those uh, three groups, you know, getting uh, to join them uh, for uh, the quarterfinal uh, stage of uh, the competition at this point in time. But Vivian, uh, do you see uh, Nigeria making it out of that group? Uh, I think we are in a really um, unlucky group um, with the with the host with France that has already won against um, the US and then the US themselves are their current uh, Olympic champions. So this is a very difficult group uh, compared to group A and group C. Um, so we'll really see how this is going to turn out. Uh, hopefully they will win. Of course, uh, she's actually you know, hoping uh, that we we'll, uh, qualify uh, from that uh, particular group away from uh, the match uh, between Nigeria and uh, uh, the USA we head straight uh, to another football uh, football event uh, that will be happening uh, tomorrow in the early hours tomorrow where uh, New Zealand will host uh, Sweden, the United States of America or we see to cons uh, to consolidate on their, uh, their on their first win in the tournament uh, when uh, they played against Australia, Canada and Great Britain will have a date in that particular one tomorrow. Uh, Chile we seek uh, to uh, host. Uh, 
uh, to actually you know get to edge at japan uh, or japan will be setting an ambush uh, for chile in that uh, particular one uh, where brazil and Zambia go toe to toe. Uh, they will say to Tango, we know that uh, the Zambian side has lost uh, uh, one game. Uh, they, have, uh, they actually not drew uh, their second game against uh, China, and they're hoping to see if they can able to defeat uh, uh, the Brazil that has uh, the likes of Mata, who uh, is Latin, you know, uh, are competing in a fifth Olympics at this point in time. Also, Netherlands, who actually defeated uh, Zambia 10-3 uh, in their first match, uh, we seek uh, to actually you know, stand uh, People's uh, Republic of China in that uh, particular, you know, uh, games are uh, in uh, the Olympics. But after looking at this future, which particular match is much watering uh, for you? Of course, I'll always root for you know all the African teams. You know, the Zambians will be up against the Brazilians tomorrow, having lost their first game by scandalous ten. You know, ten. It was a ten three score line. You know, even though. During the end of the game, the Zambians showed some flashes of brilliance, you know, scoring two goals in, in, in the nine minutes of the game. And in their second game, they had a 4-4 draw with China. So that leaves them with just one point. So playing the Brazilians, I mean, tomorrow, I mean, the Brazilians are no strangers, you know, when it comes to competitions like this, you know, both the male and female teams, you know, they have, you know, a, a matter in that team who is a veteran of the sport, three time world footballer of the year, yeah. Olympian. You know, she's in this squad, you know. So I, I think the, 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 the Brazilians will be out there to really make a statement against the Zambians. All I can hope is that the Zambians will try to play one of their best games, you know, but losing against the Netherlands in, in that first uh, encounter, I, I felt they really did some silly mistakes that, you know, led to, they considered a lot of very cheap goals, you know, doing they, they tried to, to come back in the game, but it was quite late. Same for the, when they played again, they played against the Chinese, you know, they, 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 they fell behind, came back, and at the end of the day, they were all level. But playing against the Brazilians, I really hope that they might play this should that, that should be their best game in the competition because anything short of a victory will spell you know an end to their hopes of you know making anything a headway in this 2020 tokyo olympics so i'll be rooting for the zambians and i really hope that they play their best game tomorrow and come up with a victory or at least a draw against the brazilians of course uh looking at uh, the fixtures uh uh jonathan uh, which actually match actually no no cut your fancy as it said like the brazil is under mm. match mm. tomorrow i see i foresee another scandalous score line mm. <laughs> if you watch the game against the netherlands scandalous, i mean the zambia the, the brazilians <laughs> okay the brazilians yeah, beating the zambia if you watch the game against the netherlands was one of the worst games i've ever watched in football both male and female football mm. they played so poorly I don't, I don't even see them getting a draw against Brazil tomorrow. Of course, uh, Jonathan uh, d does not actually know see uh, Zambia, you know, getting a draw against uh, uh, Brazil. But just looking at uh, uh, Zambia in the group, they're in Group F. Uh, uh, Netherlands are leaders in that particular group uh, with a uh, four points. Uh, uh, plus uh, uh, seven plus goals. Uh, uh, Brazil are uh, followed with uh, the same uh, score, uh, point. Uh, four points uh, with uh, plus difference. five. Yes, lesser mm -hmm. goal difference. Uh, China Republic, they have just one point uh, mm -hmm. with uh, minus five goals. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, Zambia, who for me, they are the whipping uh, women in that uh, particular group, but they just have one point uh, from two games with minus uh, seven uh, goals. Uh, but uh, Salifu, yes, uh, uh, thank you for joining us again. We actually wanted to ask you about uh, the welfare uh, package. Uh, uh, for the athletes as the sports uh, ministry you know uh have they done the needful uh, for those athletes uh represented and uh, nigeria right there in tokyo hello salifu can you hear me Of course, at this point in time, we cannot uh, uh, hear uh, Salifu. But uh, we'll move straight uh, uh, to the medal table at this point uh, where 
we know that uh, a certain uh, U.S. team, uh, the boys are getting uh, to be, you know, separated uh, from uh, the <laughs> at this point in time. But uh, what do you make up of the, uh, the medal table, Alpha? You know, on the first day when we, or the second day when we came here to, you know, review and preview the Olympic Games, the Chinese seem to be like the runaway leaders when it came to the medal tables. Then the Japanese, who were, of course, expected of them as the hosts, were like second. But you know, that day I said something. I said, Sorry, just to cut you short, okay. uh, the US have seven gold medals, yeah. uh, three silver. Uh, four bronze medal they were followed by japan they have a uh, seven uh gold medal uh two uh silver and also three bronze medal making it to a total of, of 12 uh, uh medals uh, also uh china they have a uh, six are uh, gold and they have four bronze they have uh, uh they have four silver they have a uh, seven uh, uh bronze uh, medal uh they actually know of course uh I was actually not reading the updated version. We have a new <laughs> version of the better stable at this point in Japan, time. Japan, oh, the host, host country. country, you know, uh, go back, uh, please. Uh, can we have uh, the better stable right there? Okay, uh, Japan, Japan now have eight gold medals. Yes, of course. Uh, the Japanese now have eight uh, a gold medal, they have a uh, two uh, uh, silver medal, uh, three bronze medal, making it a total of uh, 13. Oh, no, uh, 13 uh, uh, medal in the Olympics, and uh, they were followed by USA with seven gold medals, three silver medal, uh, four uh, bronze uh, medal, making a total of uh, 14. While we have the likes of uh, China with six gold medal, the likes of uh, Russia Olympic Committee with four gold medal, uh, Great Britain, uh, who just uh, who uh, they were actually just, just having just one silver mm. and one bronze medal yesterday, but today they now have uh, four uh, gold medal. A five a silver medal taking and three bronze. Taking them to five on the, uh, them to on medal. the overall standards. Of course, a total mm. of you know, a total of uh, seven uh, bronze medal. Uh, looking at uh, the People Republic of uh, Korea, they have three uh, gold medals. They have uh, they have not won any silver medal. They have uh, four bronze medal, mm. making a total of seven point uh, seven uh, medals. Australia, they have two gold. Uh, Kosovo have two gold also, and the likes of uh, Italy, France, Canada, Hungary, Tunisia, Russia, uh, Slovenia, Austria, uh, Ecuador, uh, uh, China, Hong Kong, China, uh, they all have a uh, one point. Also, uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran have a uh, one a uh, good uh, medal, where the likes of um, Brazil. Uh, the likes of uh, even okay, no way, even, even Philippines, uh, for Uzbekistan, even Uzbekistan, even Uzbekistan has, has a gold medal, of course. They have a gold medal <laughs> for, for weightlifting, yeah. so, yes, exactly. At this point, in time, <laughs> countries who uh, we didn't actually know, uh, get, uh, expect them to win medals at this point in time, they are getting I know, uh, to win, uh, win uh, gold medals and silver and bronze medal uh, in the Olympics, but uh. And uh, Nigeria at this point in time, Kazakhstan has three bronze. Of course, they have three bronze. <laughs> but at this point in time, we are going deep, deep down mm -hmm. to actually look for where Nigeria is uh, has been placed. But no at this point in time, no my producer Hello? is telling me that there is no, 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 no where uh, to be found at this point in time. But Salifu, if you can hear me, how is uh, the welfare package of 14 Nigeria uh, right there at the Tokyo Olympics? Of course, uh, we have issues still uh, connecting or uh, linking us through to Salifu. But uh, Alpha, you were saying something before I actually got to you short. Concerning the medal table, yeah. yes. yes, you know, I, I saw even a certain Uzbekistan, mm. Kosovo. you know, there's Kosovo, mm. there's Kazakhstan, mm. you know, and we went all down to look for where kept searching, mm. we're digging for gold, they're going deeper, we kept deeper, digging, deeper. Mm. digging mm. deeper, mm. and mm -hmm. we're here to see a certain Nigeria. Mm. So you know uh, the, the so far, uh, that was no here with us. But like I was saying, the era of keep going to participate in Olympics just for the sake of participation should be over by now. If Kazakhstan are getting a goal, even if it's in weightlifting, we should be able to come up with a certain medal, whatever the color is, in a particular sport. But I mean, we've been participating. I mean, since the game started, and we had to find Nigeria anywhere, in spite of how deep we dug. So I, I I hope that uh, moving forward we we won't be dig that deep again to 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 find gold. Mm. 
Of course, uh, uh, Vivian, looking at the medals table, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, uh, we, we are seeing that uh, Japan uh, are getting you know, to lead uh, the medals table at this point. Yes, so even for example, here in Britain, uh, we just recently um, celebrated Adam PT for winning. So it's really interesting to see how, you know, Nigeria hasn't even made the, the table list yet, whereas uh, Britain, for example, has three medals. So it's really disappointing, but hopefully we'll be able to, to maybe see that one day. Of course, uh, Vivian, she's hoping uh, that uh, we will actually see Nigeria, the green and white uh, uh, colors on the medals table. Uh, Jonathan. Oh, did you notice a trend on the medals table? Mm. Of, see, Asian teams and mm. Eastern European mm. countries dominating the medals table. Mm. Yeah, for the Asian teams, mm. Japan will seem almost like home of course. for them. Mm. So it's no, no, no surprise really. Mm. Republic of Korea. Mm. Yes, I mean, it's, I mean, mm. they're, they're all almost, Asian yes, they're they're all the Asian. same so region. Japan will, same region, so Japan will seem like home but of course the big players will always be there like i said the usa the russian olympic committee is coming up great britain are now about number five you know so as it goes on you know at the end of the day the top five will still be usa, USA japan china, china, yeah, china so you know so like that Russia. so we hope that nigeria will be somewhere you know even if it's a top 20 or top 30 but i mean this shouldn't be an olympic where we'll go again and come back and we'll celebrate and say that we participated at least we participated uh, we should at least come back with something of course. i mean we should, we should we should have grown past that era by now of course we don't want to have an olympics that uh, uh when they were actually leaving the country we we're actually not celebrating oh. them and uh, not leaving uh to uh living uh for tokyo uh 2020 olympic games but uh, maybe at the end of the day we should actually not get uh, uh to celebrate them we don't want them you know uh coming into nigeria through the back door and uh, we don't get exactly. to you know to celebrate them but at this point in time that point, if you can hear me uh what are your yeah. thoughts on the medals table uh well i i said it earlier on that the, the big countries they will they will continue to dominate as they are dominating at the moment in japan up there you all also expect to see the americans the chinese the koreans and even uh, even uh, some of the european countries coming forth but this table at the moment you know will still change in character to see change in number of medals when these countries when they start winning in sports that they have comparative advantage there are sports and there are sports you know in africa we have limited number of sports you know just like i gave an example the other time, we have just about 41 in nigeria that we compete in and uh, in other European countries and other part in Asia too, they have over a hundred, you know, sports they compete in. So by the time they start this, I, I call those sports, I call them obscure sports. By the time they start winning medals in equestrian, by the time they start winning in fencing, by the time they start winning in, in, in diving, in all these sports that we don't compete in, they will start winning all the medals they are supposed to win. So at the end of the day, even running to we still have four weeks of competition in the Olympics. Olympics always for four weeks. We still have four weeks. It's still a long time to go. Those who are leading now, they are the, they are the top countries, and I see expect them to do this, maintain the lead into midway into the Olympics, and also towards the end, and also to the end, the positions may actually change. Japan may not continue to be on top. In the next, you know, few weeks, you will see the differences we are we are actually talking about. Now, those countries who are up there now, they've won the medals in the sport they are very, very strong in. And each of those countries, they have sport that they have comparative advantage in, they will always win. They will always win. We know, yes, they will always. Of course, yes, they uh, will. They will always uh, win. That is actually you know, uh, coming uh, from Dapo. But before I let you go, Dapo, your final thought just in 10 seconds about uh, the Nigerians' uh, team participation uh, tomorrow. Well, I'm hopeful that the Tigress will put smiles on our faces, and that is my expectation. And also the other ones waiting for athletes to start. The Our athletes are also prepared very well, and I believe that when they start, we will start reeling in medals. Of course, we will start in medals. Are you confident, Vivian, just at 10 seconds about uh, Nigeria's performance tomorrow? 
I am praying for a miracle um, for all of all of our performances tomorrow, and uh, just we we'll just see how it's going to go. But I need the guys to concentrate and just do your best. Of course, uh, Alpha Jonathan, tomorrow's game. I'm hoping tigress. Tomorrow. We, we hope for the Tigress win. Of course, uh, we're right here in the, the studio in Abuja. We are actually you know, hoping uh, that uh, the Tigress and also our team Nigeria who will be competing tomorrow uh, will put smile on the faces of over 2 million Nigerians all over uh, the world. At this point in time, we want to actually you know, call it a day. Uh, but before we call it a day, we want to actually you know our times are sponsored, talking about uh, our caster printer. They have been one supporting us. Also, you can also join us and sponsor uh, this show, talking about uh, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in 120. Of course, uh, you can actually you know, check uh, a cast printer on uh, their website talking about www.cast.com.ng uh, uh, for more information about them. Also, you can also try to share our videos, uh, call your friends and families, even your enemies. Tell them that uh, you're actually watching the biggest sports show in the whole wide world. What will bring to you the latest happening in the world of the Olympics, which is actually going right here in uh, Japan. But for me, I'm saying thank you for staying with us. Uh, stay with us to also tomorrow. We have another date for you. We promise that it will come bigger and better in uh, the Tokyo 120 Olympic show. But for now, bye-bye. I say have a good night rest and God bless you.